Today, we're going to know the difference between the molecular formula and the structural formula in writing and drawing compounds. So, the molecular formula, for example, is just like um, H2O and CO2 and so on. So, this is water, this is carbon dioxide, we know that. And the molecular formula, as we can see, it shows us the uh, types of atoms. Here we have the H, this is hydrogen, O, this is oxygen. And it shows us the number of atoms. Like here we have two oxygens and one carbon. Here one oxygen, two hydrogens, and so on. But the molecular formula has a very, very great disadvantage. Is that it doesn't show us the types of bonds between um, these atoms and um, it doesn't show us the structure or the arrangement you'd rather say the arrangement of the atoms we will have an example our example is that's the example uh, in the book and it's uh, a very very good one we have uh, C2H6 Oh, this is a molecular formula, okay? But it appears that there are two compounds, organic compounds, that do have the same molecular formula, actually, but they are completely different from each other. One of them is an alcohol, and the other one is an ether. So, we have ethyl alcohol, and we have or ethyl alcohol and we have dimethyl ether. So why is the difference? Here the structural formula will show us. So in ethyl alcohol we have a carbon chain. So we have a CH3, CH2, okay? So these are the two carbons that we have, and five of the six hydrogens. Still, we have an OH left. So, it's bonded like that. This OH is called the hydroxyl group. This is the hydroxyl group. So, when a hydroxyl group is attached to a carbon chain like that, we call this an alcohol. So, this is called ethanol too, by the way. It's called ethanol or ethyl alcohol. So, this is the first one. The second one is an ether. What's an ether? An ether is an oxygen in the middle bonded from two sides to carbon chains. So, here we have a CH3 and another CH3. We count the, the atoms that we have. We have the two carbons, okay, and the six hydrogens, all right, and the oxygen. So they have the same molecular formula, but their structure is completely different. This is called an ether, and this is called an alcohol. Let's have a look at the physical property, the melting point and the boiling point. Here the melting point is negative 117.3 degrees Celsius, and the boiling point is 78.5 degrees Celsius. 78.5 degrees Celsius. On the other hand, here the melting point is negative uh, 138 degrees Celsius and the boiling point is negative 29.5 degrees Celsius. So the numbers aren't even close. A very, very great difference here in the boiling point especially. So a great difference in the physical properties just by changing the structure. But when I take a look at the molecular formula, I cannot see that. But the structural formula explains this to me. Also, we have uh, reactions. For example, reaction with sodium. Here, in the uh, alcohol, simply this hydrogen can be replaced by sodium. So the hydrogen gets out and the sodium gets in. So we, we get this uh, compound. Sodium ethoxide, ethoxide, E for this C2H5, and we will uh, know that later because we have two carbons and oxide for the oxygen. Sodium, sodium ethoxide, we get this compound 
resulting from the reaction between sodium and the ethyl alcohol. While with the diamond thiol ether, sodium doesn't react actually. Sodium cannot react with this compound. So, uh, about the nomenclature and all that, we'll talk about that later. I just wanted to show you that uh, the structure of formula is a very, very important thing, and we really need to know how to write the structure of formula of each compound because they may have the same molecular formula, but they are completely different. So, that's it for today. Until the next time, and thank you for watching, and see you.